What's up everybody? Today's my birthday and we're starting the day off right headed to church. And you already know I got all my friends with me. We got Mr. Headrest. Then we have Senior Buckle. And don't forget about Miss Cherry. The empty tomb gives us power. It gives us new life because Jesus conquered once and for all sin, hell, and the grave. One more time, can we just tell God how much you love him today? I'm so glad you guys are here. Give me I was thinking the last few days, like something I could do for my birthday, just like make it a tradition um, to help somebody else or do something good for somebody else and not be about me. So later today, I thought I would go by and get something to eat and then pay for the people, pay for somebody else. All right, I can't go to a big steakhouse, I don't have that kind of money. You gotta work with what you got. So I'll probably go by a fast food restaurant or something like that, get some ice cream and then pay for the people behind me. Um, not necessarily to make just make me feel good or whatever, but I don't know. Do something nice for somebody else. And I'm not doing all this to say, hey, look at me, look what I do, whatever. But, you know, I'm making this YouTube video to hopefully, you know, add something to somebody else's life. And it sparks one person to do something for somebody else. And, hey, you know, I really don't care what the other people think, and it's worth it. You guys hang out real quick. All right, be my little brother. And ping pong. Huh? Me? Oh, yeah. No! 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 Winning is lifestyle, not losing. No! Is that happening? I'm just chilling, walking through the house. My little brother has an idea. So, uh, no, I can't. No. What was it? No. Come on. It's no. It's great. You may get uh, somebody that reaches out to you and is like, hey, we'll help you. Go ahead, guys, don't worry about this. I got it. What is it? <laughs> Cannon. Yeah, Can I tell him? Sure, I don't care. He said, you know, Jay, how somebody invents something and then they're like, and then you're like, man, I wish I would've thought of that. Well, that's what he said. And he was like, you know, I kind of wish there was this thing for like toilet paper, like a handle for toilet paper to keep your hands clean. What? He has a little handle on the end so you can not get your hands dirty, you know? <laughs> what? So you get your hands dirty when you go to the bathroom? Possibly. Has this happened? Do I need to see your hands right now? Oh my word. I drive a 2002 Chevy Silverado. My little brother just asked me the funniest question. He doesn't have an ox. Freak, no, I don't have an ox. I hardly have a radio. I gotta sing my own music. Is water wet? Is water wet, man, man? What is your answer, man? Huh. Don't get me started on that. What's your answer? My answer? Yeah. Water is not wet. You're kidding me. Huh? Because oh, water, water, water makes stuff wet. Water isn't wet, it makes stuff wet. If I dip my coat into the water, it's wet. Water is not wet. It is, how is it not Here. wet? Does a straw have one or two holes? <laughs> Does it have one? Straw has one or two holes. It has one hole. I have two. One hole. It has one hole. Food for thought. <laughs> water has one hole. It can't have water. A straw has one hole. Water makes the stuff wet. Right. Water is wet. It is wet. To make other. <laughs> Yeah, after those comments came in, you just walk out. How many 
many holes does a straw have? It has one. Wait, how many holes does a straw have? Two. Right down the middle. Yeah, it's one hole. Okay. Are you a straw has one holes or two holes type of person? Um, is water wet? But here's a new one for you. Ice cream with a fork. <laughs> Not even you a delicate scoop. Not even a sport. A fork. Better eat that quick. So earlier I said. I was gonna go somewhere pace for somebody else's meal as my act of kindness today. And I went to Freddy's earlier and nobody came behind me. So I guess nobody wanted free food. So I'm running through McDonald's real quick because I'm a man of my word. Hey, sir, sir, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and pay for the people behind me's meal with that car? Tell her God bless for me though. First, annual Justice Hansen Family Polar Plunge event is about to take place. How do you feel? I'm scared. Heart Keep beating so fast. Heart beating so fast, I'm scared. Already frozen. <laughs> Damn, I'm cold. Whatever. Scared, nervous. All those emotions. And if anybody sees this who knows my little brother, please leave a comment in Please leave a comment Please leave a comment in the comments section and Chew him out because he's in a bad mood. And he doesn't want to do it. I have a video and I'm not doing this because mom is weird <laughs> Love the Hanson family drama Come on. And then we got the old man. I guess he's in the bathroom Mentally preparing. I don't know. Tell me what you're feeling pregame. What? Pregame. How you feel? It's game time, baby. It's easy money. <laughs> first, first annual polar plunge. How do you feel pregame? Not good. Not happy. Here we go, Tigers. Here we go.
already frozen. It doesn't feel no, bad now. Not a good idea. Post swim. <laughs> it stings. Not so bad when you're already frozen. <sighs> We're done here. With the first Who's annual handsome polar plunge. So I just showered and I'm getting ready for bed. I'm also editing this video, and I just wanted to end it being real honest with you guys. You know, I was very hesitant about putting out the video I did today, kind of about my testimony and my story. Um, you know, a big reason is just because you don't know that people are going to respect your story. You don't know if anybody's going to relate to it um, or it's going to mean anything to anybody. And to be honest, I was absolutely blown away by all the responses I got from that. Um, just inspiring and empowering people. Um, you know, I had tons of people comment, old friends. I had some kids comment that said, you know, that video inspired them to keep chasing their dreams. Um, even a lady commented, I guess she has been, um, kind of questioning starting a, um, like a Christian empowerment group, like a little study group and stuff. And after watching my video, she said it confirmed to her, um, it helped give her the courage to go ahead and start it. So, I mean, it's just small stories like that, that, that really mean the world to me. Um, and I just would like to say, you know, if you've got a good testimony and we all do, um, they just might not be the same. Uh, you know, preach it and talk to people about it because you don't know whose life you're going to change because mine isn't going to reach everybody's, everybody. And, you know, my testimony might not relate to everybody, but yours might. So, um, you know, let's make this world a better place and talk about it.